You've connected your domain to Wix, and now your email no longer works. We're going to fix that tonight. Hey, welcome to another Wix Fundamentals for the Wix user. Tonight we're going to look at how to connect your email to your Wix website after you have already connected your domain. So we're going to look at updating MX records on your Wix website. So what is an MX record? Um, this is according to uh, dreamhost.com. All I did was did a quick search on what is an MX record. So an MX record is um, a DNS record that's necessary for delivering email to your address. In simple terms, a DNS record, or sorry, an MX record is used to tell the world which mail servers accept incoming mail for your domain where emails sent to your domain should be routed to. If your MX records are not pointed to their correct location, you will not receive email. So that is that is big. One thing you cannot do when it comes to testing your email is send an email um, from your email <clears throat> platform and see if it works. Because more than likely it will. It will send the email out. The way you have to test it is get an email sent to you. So the easiest way to do it is literally send yourself an email. And if you receive the email, you're fine. That means the MX records are pointed correctly. If you do not receive an email, which is very likely if you change your name servers over to Wix, this is how you're going to fix it. So the first thing you need to do is figure out what your MX records are. And it all depends on what uh, email platform you have, whether you're using um, one dot com if you're using Gmail, um, more likely G Suite. Um, if you're using Yahoo, whatever email platform you're using for your website, you need to be able to figure out what the MX records are. And that's a fairly easy Google search. So all I did was search for G Suite MX records, and it gives me a support page from Google. And right here are the MX records that I need to input into Wix. So we're going to go to our dashboard. Manage our domain, so our domain is already connected. We're going to go to Advanced, which is going to drop down this lovely little menu. MX Mail Exchange. Okay, so we got to look and see what is the MX records. So now I use oneinone.com for most of my domains. So this is going to be a little bit different than what you're seeing in the G Suite, but it gives the same idea. Okay, so we have to look at MX. MX records, if there's nothing here, more than likely your email is not going to work. Give us an update. And then all I'm going to do is go to my mailbox settings, change settings. One nice thing that Wix does do is that a lot of times will give you a drop down. Hopefully, your email provider is in here. If it isn't, Click other, okay. But if it is, all you gotta do is put 101.com. It automatically puts the MX records in. If for some reason you're using an obscure uh, email platform, you may have to do that quick search. I recommend doing the quick search just in case, because what you can do then is you can basically compare what Wix has for their MX records to what you're finding online. A matter of hitting OK. Once you hit OK, give it. I would say give it an hour. It shouldn't take that long, but give it a few minutes at least to test. If you get within an hour and it doesn't work, walk away from the computer. Give yourself a uh, a day. DNS records are funky. They can take 24 to 48 hours to change. A lot of times that's just on the domain itself. Sometimes it's on the MX records as well. So give yourself a little bit of time. Don't frustrate, by, frustrate yourself by continuing to... Um, try to send emails and receive emails. Worst comes to worst, go back in, double check your, your MX records within a day. If they're the same, again, hang out for a little bit, they will update. You don't have to publish your site again after you do this. 
Like I've said in previous uh, videos, I always publish anytime I do any type of updates and something like this, just to be safe. So that's like an easy way of changing your MX records when it comes to email with your domain. Make sure to like the video, make sure to share the video, uh, like the the page. Uh, let me know too what you think of the new logo. Um, going to be updating all of the background images for all the videos to that new logo and I want to see what you guys think as well. So have any questions, don't be uh, afraid to comment on the video. Shoot me an email at info at wixfundamentals.com or check out the website www.wixfundamentals.com. Have a great night. <music>